Hello and welcome to another video for linmob.net. So, um, my content has been very focused on the pine phone recently. And yeah, this is a new, better working uh, release of Plasma Mobile, but I'm not going to show you that today. Uh, because only being about the pine phone, um, well, it gets a little boring now. I can't sh show you uh, my Libram 5 yet because even though Purism uh, announced the delivery schedule um, it's going to take a while I think I've until I've got it so I hope I will get it in 2020 so that, that, that there will be one good one more good thing about this year and um, well I'm not going to talk about Memo Lester on the Droid 4 today yet and uh, I'm also not going to talk about this device with Ubuntu Touch. But I'm going to talk about this thing. And you wonder, what is that? It's a BQ-X5, which is a phone I personally bought in uh, 2017. And it is supported by PostMarket OS. This is the PostMarket OS wiki and um, there we have it. Among the top listed devices here and yeah. So I uh, took some time uh, of my regular PinePhone playing schedule and installed it according to the instructions here which um, almost worked at first I ran into issues with uh, the pm bootstrap install command um, which apparently has problems on ZFS so if you're so insane and run ZFS with Linux um, well if that's your problem try it on another machine or get a second disk install uh, something with a more native file system and it will is going to work and then after that with uh, PM bootstrap flasher um, but I've written all that on Mastodon already um, in a toot so yeah by the way there is one more bug uh, if you install it it won't really work out of the box um, because there is currently a bug with the touchscreen not working on the BQ Pi yeah, with my LAN kernel and um, yeah there is a kernel image here which works but you basically can only fast boot boot it so it doesn't include a bootloader so you can't just take it and flash it to your boot partition. Um, I'm sure there's a way to do that and once this issue is going to be closed um, I think you can just install it again but currently uh, it's a bit tough to boot this phone. But once it's booted, uh, it runs. So I chose to go with Fosh here, although I'm certainly, um, when I'm going to do another video on Plasma Mobile, I'm going to try that too on this device uh, to see about the speed differences between this thing and the pine phone because it's been um, surprisingly fast now I didn't put in a sim card yet it's supposed to work according to the compatibility sh sheet and um, well assuming we would have boot working uh, data mobile data and phone calls I couldn't test that either of course because well you know no sim card no phone calls Simple as that. Same goes for testing. Uh, at, at, pardon, pardon me. Test texting, but it's supposed to work. So I'm hopeful that that's not going to be problematic at all. Actually, and uh, yeah. So let's just see. Um, let's just run new name. Dash R. By the way, um, I'm really looking forward to trying Plasma Mobile because 
with Fosh the keyboard, which is fine on the Pine phone and supposedly fine on the Librem 5 as well, is a bit tiny here. Also, this touchscreen driver, which is in this image, mm, ah, I don't know, it's a bit oversensitive. I had really trouble typing in my Wi Fi SSD. So, yeah, it's running a recent kernel, not the final release of 5.9, but I think that's okay. And I've been running it because that's something that's interesting too. Uh, for if I don't get it totally wrong, 14 hours and 49 minutes, which is quite something now. I had connected it to power during some of this time because, well, no battery indicator working currently, so I am i didn't want it to run out of battery and then have to start my computer and go fast boot, boot, blah, 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 you know. I didn't want to go through all that um, before making this video. So the apps are just the same as they are normally, but um, apparently they some of them don't really work just as well here because um yeah i don't know what that is um there's this red bar but i think that's just because i've got no sim card in there megapixels doesn't work because it doesn't have a device config um i just installed it for fun because i was going like well maybe it's working but it's great to see that it fails this way you see it couldn't find any config for this device so it's already architected to be multi-device. That's really great. Uh, again, thanks a lot to Martin Brown there uh, for this excellent camera app for PinePhone. And then we can see a pre-installed files app. That's Nemo. So again, this is post-market OS Edge with Fosh. Um, Let's see if I can really uh, show how bad I am at typing here in get it. Yeah, uh, you see, it's this is just a stupid little test. So it sort of works, but it's not perfect and. I don't know if it's me or if it's just that it's somehow different or... Oh, look at that. Fosh crash. Let's see if it comes back. Huh. Oh, yeah. Poo. Lucky. Got lucky there. Came back. Now... Wrong key. So, let's just see if there are upgrades available, by the way. So, sudo... APK dash U. Yeah, you would think that I could do that because I've used Forge for a while, but yeah. Uh, on smaller screens, this whole stuff works uh, even less than it does normally, so yeah. Oh, Jack and Pipefire. <laughs> and Libvacam. Okay, that's nothing that should break everything, right? Maybe some audio stuff will be broken now with new Jack. Now, I know that you're curious for Firefox. And I find it starts quite fast on this thing. Uh, yeah. Because it's definitely slow on the Pine phone at least one run from SD card, but I think also natively. Um, so I'm guessing that this thing just has faster storage. It has 16 gigabytes of EMMC, but I haven't benchmarked that. So read speeds seem to be better here. And yeah, you can see, but I can browse the web. Can, well, I don't know. Where did I wanna go? Maybe YouTube? No, I didn't want to go to YouTube. Um, because then I got all those crappy uh, alerts. But I could just head over to PeerTube. And 
try playing my latest video, which isn't live on YouTube yet. But it's only going to go live in 23 minutes. As of the time of recording. Hmm. Now, of course, I don't know where that problem is now, if there's no sound or something. It's Firefox, the device, something else. Audio routing problems after upgrading, just upgrading Pipefire. But at least it's it's playing and we can jump here and that works too. So on. So yeah. So I think that's it. I mean, I could of course install uh, flat packs or APKs from GNOME software here uh, on this device too. So that all works and it's actually fairly quick. I really need to test it with a thumb card, but I'm quite happy about this. Um, really kudos to Postmarket OS, a great job at bringing these devices over. Uh, unfortunately, I my my uh, laptop went to sleep. Um, so I can't really tell you the names of the maintainers, but hey, thanks to Lazado for uh, po creating this port. Uh, awesome job. Keep up the good work. Thanks to you for, to watch for watching and uh, have a great week. And yeah, you know, have a laughter every here and now. Relax a bit. Experiment with phones. Just chill. See you soon. <laughs>